What's up, people? It is your boy Spaces, and we back again with another video. So today I want to show you how to arrange live drums into your next production. Let's go. All right, so what I want to show you today is I have this project that I'm working on, and I wanted to do some live drums into the transition. The original beginning of the track has live drums also, but the part I really want to focus on is the transition. And I will let you hear what the beginning sound like. All right, so a very simple intro with live drums. And this is just to live in this whole um, arrangement up. But the part that I really want to pay attention to is where I come in in the transition. Now the, uh, so just so you can hear how the track sounds, it's. So it has a certain vibe to it, but in the transition, this is what the transition is. So as you can see, I have a live guitar, there's a bass background, there are some pads, but I wanted to really bring the live drums into play. And so I wanted to make it sound like a actual drummer was playing it. So what I did was if a kick was hidden, I made sure a snare wasn't hidden or something like that. Little mistakes can make it sound unauthentic, if that's a word, unauthentic, unauthentic, <laughs> anyway, all right, so what we're doing is, is uh, let's go here, so we come in from the break, So, as you can see, I have this as if I am a drummer playing the drum. As you can see, you will see the velocity is different on everything. Nothing is all the way the exact same. So, as a drummer, you're not going to hit the exact same volume each time you hit. So, I wanted to make this as realistic as possible. And so, as you will see here... And so you'll see this first hit, this kick is really hard because usually a drummer on the first hit is pretty hard. But I wanted it to come down just a little bit. And you'll start to see the... Uh, and so even with the hi-hats here, I wanted them to be different velocity i didn't want everything to hit the exact same and so i'm thinking as a drummer in this particular situation right and so what i wanted to make sure is that i didn't overdo what I was trying to accomplish here and so on the second part here what I want to focus on now is bringing this track back in all right and so what I want to do let's just focus on this little part right here So what I want to do here is, so from here I have, I think toms in between. So is, so I have a basic, doom 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 is what I have. And so what I want to do, I want to make this a little bit more realistic again. So I want to do 
this would probably What I'll do is uh, a little higher pitch. And I'll make this one. I want to make these uh, not the same. And so now I have this part right here and so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna play. I know usually the first hit is going to be and so what I'm going to do is this like that and then what I'll do is So I want it to go down in volume, right? Maybe the last one will come back up a little bit, right? So, so I have this symbol, right? And so this is the, uh, so it's the only one that's in this particular kit. Now, I want you to know that I am using Addictive Drum 2. So I'm doing all of the mixing here as far as mix-wise. Now, fun fact, I used to play drums a long time ago. Still do every now and then. And so what I want to do, I'm thinking of a role that I would normally do playing myself. So what I'm doing is a, this is a, uh, what you want to call like a double uh, double fill in. There's two on the uh, hit here. So this is going to be after here. Oh, it's going to be here, maybe. Right, that's it. And so. What I want to do is an open hi-hat with this also. Put one there. I'm going to put it on the tongue. And so. That is perfect. And so. Now I'm going to do a little velocity on that. I'm going to bring both of those up. Bring both of those up. Just like that. All right, and so with the new transition, we're gonna sound like this going out of. Just like that. And you have drums that are programmed. All right, I hope that was enough to get you started on your live drum programming. Make sure you tune in every week for more and more videos coming. I have a lot in store for you. Make sure you don't leave until you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, share this video, comment below. Make sure to be creative with the space that you have. Signing out.